Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again, and today we are doing another math lesson in Unit 5. And before we even get started, though, you got to make sure that you have your robot turtle book. You got to make sure you're on page 229. I'm writing it right here in blue for you. Page 229. And this is going to be lesson 5 5. It says right there at the top. And on this page, you'll see a little boy with orangey hair. You'll see a girl with a. Uh, curly brown hair and then you'll see a boy with black hair and a red sweater all right so if you're not on this page pause the video take your time to open it up but if you're on this page we're just gonna get going Ooh. all right so in this lesson today guys we are going to continue what we learned yesterday and we are going to be adding three numbers at a time so uh, the only difference is instead of them just giving us the number sentence, right, like yesterday, instead they are giving us story problems. And we have to be able to pick these numbers out of the story problems and also make sure that we know that we need to add them. Okay? So let's read this one together. And as soon as you hear something special, make sure you circle it. I'm going to try to make sure I circle it too with you says, I have six oranges. Did you hear anything important? I sure did. It's that number six. And Alex has two pears. Did you hear anything else? I know I did. It's that number two. And Jada has four apples. And of course, we, we, I know we all heard that one. The number four. How many pieces of fruit do we have in all? And of course, we already know that the words in all are super special. They tell us that we are definitely going to be using a plus sign for all of this, and we have to add them all together. But just like we learned yesterday, we can write these number sentences in any order to solve them. So I'm going to write one, one way, right? And which is, uh, I can just take them in the order that they gave them to us. I can put the six first, the two second, and the four last. And then we can solve it, right? So uh, I told you guys before, I like to make sure I just always work from left to right. So what I would do, you don't have to do it the same way. If you want to add the numbers differently, you can. What I would do is add the 6 and the 2 first. And I told you guys I like to make little errors so I know that these are the two numbers I'm combining. And I put the total up here. So what is 6 plus 2? Well, we can make little dots, can't we? If we don't have a number line. 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I have two dots over here. And then I'll make 4 for the 4. All right, so if we combine the six dots with the two dots, how many do we have all together? We should have eight. So up here, they equal eight, and I'm going to bring the plus four up here. And I'll carry the dots also. And now we just have to figure out what is eight plus four. And to do this, we can just count on from 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we know it's 12. But if you don't like the equation I wrote, you could write your own in any order. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to do your own number sentence. So down here, I want you on these three spaces to show me a completely different way that you could add the numbers 6, 2, and 4. Go ahead, write another way that you could or, uh, arrange these numbers to add them. You can pick any order you want. Go ahead, I'm going to give you guys a quick second. Go ahead and write them down.
All right. So, let's see which one you might have picked. You could keep the six first and put the four second and the two last. That's one way you could arrange the numbers. You could put the two first and then the four and then the six. Actually, that would probably be the easiest way now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, man. And I'll show you guys why in just a second. Or you could have also wrote um, maybe the 4, the 6, and the 2, or any, any order at all. But let's go back to that one that I just had, where it was uh, the 4, the 2, and the 6. This would probably be the easiest way to add these numbers, and you'll still get the same answer because we didn't change any of these numbers, we just changed the order. But check this out. If I add the 4 and the 2 first... Check this. I get 6, right? And then I bring down this 6, right? Because I still have to add it. I didn't use it yet. And check it out. I now just made a doubles fact, which might, for some people, is going to make this way easier. Because if you look at A plus 4, you might think, oh man, I got to use my number line. I really got to think about this. But if you really know your doubles facts and you see, uh, that this turned into 6 plus 6, you might get super excited and go, oh my gosh, I know this. This is so easy. I know that 6 plus 6 is a doubles fact and that it always equals 12. So you get to rearrange these numbers that were given in these problems in any order you want because we can add in any order. So keep that in mind as we work through these problems and you're creating your number sentences. Okay, so let's go ahead to the next page, which is page 230. All right, so here's page 230. You have that boy Carlos. We've seen him before on a whole bunch of other math pages. He's telling us about how it's important to keep in mind how you arrange your numbers and which numbers to add first. So I know they have number one already done in your book, but I really do want to walk through it because there's something I want to point out in there. All right, so let's read it real quick. Tess finds some shells at a beach. She finds seven pink shells. And remember, when we hear important things in the story, like the numbers, we're going to circle them. So we have seven, three black shells. We got three, and four white shells. How many shells does Tess find in all? And since they say in all, we know that we definitely need all these plus signs here. So in your book, they have the numbers arranged a certain way. I would actually do this a little different. And here's why. I think they did seven first and then three and then four. I would personally, I would put the three first, the four second, and the seven last. Here's why. Because I like to always start with the first two numbers to combine. So by doing that, 3 plus 4 is 7. I bring down a plus 7, right? Because we didn't add this yet. And check this out. I just made another doubles fact, which is 7 plus 7. Which would be a lot easier to figure out instead of adding 7 to 3 first. 7, uh, what? 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 4, that's not too bad, but if I added 7 to 14, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 plus 3 is a little weird. Maybe some friends might think that's a little tougher. But usually, a lot of uh, kids like doubles facts, and 7 plus 7, well, that doubles fact is 14. And they find 14 shells in all. So... You don't have to arrange them this way. I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys the way I would personally do it because this might be a little bit easier for quite a few friends. Okay? So just always keep in mind that you should arrange these numbers in a way that might be easiest for you. If it's easiest for you to just keep them in the same order that they show up in the story, that's fine. Don't worry about that then. If the order doesn't matter to you, then just keep doing what you're doing. Okay? So let's try number two. So here's how we're going to do number two, guys. 
since we already learned about adding three numbers yesterday, I'm going to read this for you. We're going to make sure we circle all the important facts, and then you're going to create the number sentence on your own. All right, and then you're going to try solving it completely on your own. So let's read it, and as we go, we're going to circle the important facts. Tom sees some birds. Ah, they didn't tell us anything special yet. He sees four red birds. Did you hear anything special? I know I did. It's at number four. So he sees four red birds, two blue birds. Did you hear anything special again? That's right, that number two. And six blackbirds. What about there? Was there anything special? There sure was. It's at number six. How many birds does Tom see in all? And of course, in all is super special. That tells us that we absolutely have to add. So we have the numbers four, two, and six. I'm going to let you guys just go ahead and solve this any way you like. The only rule is you cannot use a calculator, okay? So go ahead and arrange the numbers in the number sentence any way you like, and then solve it. Add them all together. All right, if you're still working on this problem, pause the video and take your time, then hit play. But if you're all done, let's go ahead and solve it. So four, two, and six, uh, you, I, could, I could see you guys just kind of keep it in that order. Four, two, and six, and I'll show you why. First, we've got to add four and two. Four plus two is six. And then we bring down the other part, which is plus six. So now we have 6 plus 6. And 6 plus 6 is a doubles fact, and we know that it's 12. So Tom saw 12 birds in all. All right. So let's go ahead to the next page, page 231. All right, guys, let's do one more together, okay? Uh, I'm, we're going to do number 3. I'm going to read number 3 to you. And make sure you circle all the important facts. This time, I'm not going to be circling anything. You got to do it completely on your own. All right. So Pat has sports cards. He has eight baseball cards, two football cards, and three basketball cards. How many cards does Pat have in all? Go ahead and try this one, guys. Try completely on your own. You have the numbers 8, 2, and 3.
All right, if you're still working on this, hit that space bar, pause the video, and then hit play when you're all done. If you're all done, let's check it out. So we have eight baseball cards, two football cards, and three basketball cards. So we have eight plus two plus three. So first thing I want to do is, is this is going to look a little weird. I'm going to draw lines over here because there's space. I'm going to add 8 plus 2. So we have 8. I, I like to use touch dots. 8, 9, 10. So we have 10. And then we have to bring this plus 3 down. And it turns into 10 plus 3. And then 10 plus 3, right? I'm going to use touch dots again. 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 is our answer. So before we stop today, guys, I, uh, I do have some extra practice for you. So check this out. After you finish, since we're all done number three now, what I would like for you to do is to go to the Google Classroom right here. So click, click on your man in the box. You're going to go to Classwork right there. And you're going to go to choice number two. It says 5-5 Extra Practice. And it's going to take you to IXL, where it's going to give you some very simple, short story problems. And if you're thinking, but Mr. Montgomery, I can't read all these words. Or if I do, it's going to be too, it's going to take so long. But here's the cool thing. When it comes to word problems that we're doing right now, we just have to be able to pick out the numbers. So this has a 1, a 1, and a 1. So really, this is just 1 plus 1 plus 1, and that is 3. Oh, well, would you like that? I got it right. Let's try one more. Without reading any words, check this out, guys. Ready? I have a 1, a 6, and a 1. So 1 plus 6 is 7, plus one more, well, that's 8. Look at that. I didn't even have to read the words, because right now, these the story problems they're giving us on here are not super complex. They are just very straightforward. You're adding three numbers, and then that's it. All right, so give these a try. Practice adding your three numbers. If it's too hard to do it in your head, get a piece of paper that's blank and use that to do your work on. Okay, but give these a try. See if you can get up to 100%. And that's it, guys. So hopefully this isn't too crazy. Hopefully you think this is kind of fun adding three numbers. I kind of do. And uh, if you're a little stumped on anything, just let me know. But uh, I will see you guys next time. And as always, have a great day.